Good day, and here we are with another episode of Predator Concrete Jungle. And now we only have three more levels until this Let's Play is done. Which is kind of sad, because I always enjoy these Let's Plays. I mean, I know it might get somewhat boring seeing somebody play through a game, but really, it allows you to see what somebody else has done, and also it allows you to see that you're not the only one who does a certain thing. That's what I like about Let's Plays, really. I mean... If it's a game I like, I like seeing other people talk about it or play it, you know? Because that, that way, if they've gone through some parts that I found annoying, I can see that I wasn't the only one that couldn't do it. Or could do it, for that matter. Alright, so now we're in the middle of a giant xenomorph hive. And basically, our whole mission is to destroy it. Now, there is no queen xenomorph. There is not a single one of those. I I would imagine that would have been an awesome boss fight, but I'm guessing it was not put in simply because, uh... Hmm... Graphical issues? And we're back. I had accidentally plugged in the speakers rather than the headset. So that's the problem with my whole computer setup. I actually have uh, this desk where basically the computer itself is sort of just in this little box area. And the, the whole desk is really cool, I like it, but I don't like the fact that I can't easily get access to my computer. I mean, I have to literally crawl down there and see just what's going on with it. It's really quite annoying. You know, what, is, what would you guys' uh, preferred uh, computer setup be? I mean, do you like the little uh, closed-off computer box kind of thing? Or like a big desk where it sits on the top of it? I mean, for me, I like the big desk where it sits on top, on top of it. Like like I used to have. Well, technically I didn't have a desk, it was actually sort of an end table that was repurposed as just a dedicated system unit holder. But I like that. I like being able to just easily get access to my machine instead of having to, you know, only 20 aliens left. Too bad we're going to be killing a lot more of those simply because I want to get the uh, new costume. I guess it is kind of fitting that in this Let's Play we're only going to see two costumes. We're going to see... The one from the very first Predator movie, and the one from Predator 2. Let's see, is there anything in here? No. All it is is lag. That's all that's in there. And let's see, do I have any uh, pulse mines? Yes, I do. Very nice. But I like being able to get, get have easy access to my computer. I just don't like all the crap I have to go through to actually get to any of the stuff. It's really quite annoying, in my opinion. Wow, I keep falling to my death. No, well, I'm not dead, but... If I were a human, I would be, but that doesn't really count. But what's really annoying is I don't have two uh, audio jacks on my computer. I have this highly advanced computer with great graphical processing abilities and things of that nature, but I can't actually uh, use more than one audio device. Uh, I, and I actually uh, rebuilt my computer recently because I actually uh, got a new case and a new power supply. A 700 watt power supply. I know that's not as big as it could be. I mean, like, I know there's 1,000 watt power supplies out there and things of that nature, but really 700 was up from what it originally was. And what I originally had was actually uh, a mere, I think it was like 450 watts or 480, something like that. Very, very small, but it did, it did the job. It really worked quite well. For many years. I mean, I've had that power supply since 2008. So I'm not really complaining too much about it. Because at the very least, it did what it was supposed to do. It powered my various bits of equipment. I can't hurt any of these, because if I do, I'm going to hurt myself worse. Yeah, maybe I could cloak. That'll help. You guys can't see me, except you can see the pheromones. Did you just get up there? Now, let's see. Jump down. Lay mine and blow myself up, and I fall all the way down, but don't die. Heal. Uh, apparently, I actually had some more mines. Okay, they're gonna show up right about here. Could be flip, toss the mine, and de wow, I did a lot of damage to myself. Okay, screw you guys. I'm just gonna smack you around with the stick. Okay, so basically, the uh, bonus mission is just kill a lot of xenomorphs. I'm dead. I'm just gonna blow myself up. Okay, I did not actually save, so we're going to retry the classic way. Okay, a successful hunt requires you to stalk and ambush your prey. Even though the predator is 12 foot tall and way stronger, it's still in all the predator games, or even alien versus predator games, you must always, 
always, always attack indirectly. Even on the movies, predators can shrug off AK-47 rounds to the chest. And for those that don't remember, the AK-47 fires the 7.62 by 3.9. Although then again, it's a very weak round comparatively. I mean, I don't know. I'd like to see how a uh, predator could stand up to like a 30-06 round or something bigger. A lot of the rounds used by modern militaries are actually pretty small in comparison with uh, rounds used in the past. And I guess that makes sense because battlefields today aren't really these giant, you know, fields of battle where just troops, like, run into each other. You don't really see that anymore, thankfully. Instead you get urban environments. That's great because fighting in an urban environment is so much better. Would you stop jumping? Oh, you idiot! I literally had no idea what just happened there. I know something happened, but I'm not sure what. Hey, can I open this up? No. But really, though, the modern military doctrine is, uh, you know, you just carry a large number of small uh, caliber rounds instead of just a few really big caliber rounds, like the 30-odd-6 or the 7.62 by 54 or, uh, let's see, what's another big round? You know, or the 303. Really, uh, previous military doctrine was you would, uh, rely on highly accurate rifle fire and things of that nature. Okay, this is where I kind of need to be right here. Oh, wait! Ah, oh, damn it! You know what, ladies and gentlemen? We're gonna start again. And we're back. Yeah, I'm kind of screwing this up a little bit, aren't I? Okay, I, did, I forgot... You, you don't actually want to go there, because when you do, uh, you, you, you'll miss out on the alternate costume. And I want to actually play as the hip urban predator who likes to listen to rap music and doesn't follow what the other predators do. Or something like that. In all reality, he's just emo. And watches Twilight. Well, I wouldn't put that past uh, Scarface here, because in all reality, he's kind of dumb. I mean, he did just take off his mask for some random human woman. I don't know what he was going to do there, but it wouldn't have been good. Predator intimacy, maybe? And boom. I'm literally just going to farm these guys. Hey, dude. Screw you. <clears throat> hey, there's actually mines down there. Really? I thought I came up with a great little plan of just having them farm, or just having them show up so I can farm them, but oh well. They're not that stupid. Technically xenomorphs aren't stupid. They just have a hive mentality. Hey, here they are. Die. Die. Screw you. And what's kind of interesting, I think I may have mentioned this in the past, and I'll mention it again. Uh, and they... Alien Resurrection, I think it was. Novelization. Uh, the Xenomorphs were actually somewhat sentient. There were actually some POV chapters. Which I thought was pretty awesome. I, I really thought it was awesome. To actually see stuff from their perspective. Although they were that bloody annoying uh, human-xenomorph hybrid kind of thing. Instead of like straight Xeno. Okay, hold on, idiots. Boom! Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good, because once again, we're here to get the alternate costume. That is what we want. I may have found the control room by accident. Really, this let's play has gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. This is a much longer game than uh, Soldier of Fortune was. Yeah, Soldier of Fortune was a mere ten episodes, where this thing was like... I think we might get up to episode 20, potentially. Uh, although, in all reality... Yes! We have it! We're actually going to save right now. So we killed 50 of the bastards so we could actually get the hip costume. That way we could be hip, we could smoke the marijuana like all the young kids do. I can just imagine, like... You see, actually, could you really have... An out-of-date older predator, since their society doesn't really change that much. 
You know, back in my day, we didn't have plasma casters. We had... Well, technically, in my day, we'd had plasma casters for like... Oh, I don't know, about 50 million years. But hey, you know, back in my day, we didn't have auto-targeting. Wait, yeah, we did. See, it doesn't work unless the society constantly changes. Well, in all reality, when you think about it, in recent... All the developments recently aren't that amazing. I mean, if you go back 20 years, you had basically the same stuff you do today. It just wasn't quite as advanced or did quite as much as uh, modern technology does. I mean, like... <clears throat> Portable music players. Those have actually existed longer than you would think. I mean, like with the first transistor radio, that was a portable music device that you could carry with you. It just couldn't do video or anything like that. You know, then you had like, oh, goddammit. <clears throat> <clears throat> you had like portable TVs and things like that. I mean, it's not like technology today is so super amazing. And, you know, I'm probably going to die because I don't know where that bloody control room is. It's all red around here, you know? Red rum. Red rum. And here they come. I can't attack them. I'm probably just gonna kill myself. That's it! I've had it now! Actually, wait. You know what? I'll see if my plasma caster can do anything. Nope! All it's gonna do is splash damage and kill me. That's just... I suppose some of you out there are probably like, Why don't you just memorize the level? I've never been able to memorize the level. It all looks the same to me. Literally everything here looks the same. It's just random corridors. So really, there's not much I can do. I know I just played through it, but I didn't remember it. And plus, I'm not, I haven't recorded these episodes like back to back to back. So that doesn't really help me much. Okay, we're gonna go this way. It also doesn't help that we're going uh, at different angles and things of that nature. I know there's probably some of you out there that can like draw your own maps of the level. For oh wait, well that was lucky. I mean, I'm here I'm complaining about that, but instead I'm already done. Boom. Scarface doesn't look happy. Even though, technically, all of this was his fault. Had he not just stood there and stared at her, like, she, like he wanted to rape her, uh, he wouldn't be here right now. Yes, you did! It's your fault! Even though that doesn't make a lot of sense, how do you get weather control devices from a mask? You didn't have sex! Literally, you shot him in the face! Well, what a dick move. Why do I get the feeling that Scarface here is basically the predator equivalent of a drunken frat boy? Or just a predator equivalent of a drunken, like, super redneck? Because there's a big difference between a regular redneck and a super redneck. Like a caricature redneck, really. I mean, he's just so bloody dumb. Okay, we are literally so close to finishing, I'm not actually going to end the episode. Uh, we're actually going to complete the next episode, and then we'll have the finale be its own episode. So now we're going to... We're going to be really hip now. I mean, we've got, you know... I'm trying to think of stuff that's character... That's a character, caricature of something hip. Now we're going to listen to Justin Bieber, and... What, are the, what do the kids today do? The kids today do absolutely nothing different from when I was in... When, when I was a legitimate kid. Even down to the language, really. Well, the game's kind of doing weird things. Caution. Genetic augmentation process incomplete. And yet... I couldn't stop it. It's coming to get us. The same creature that killed Grandfather Bruno. It's Wouldn't it be great-grandfather? Extreme caution. Genetic Extreme caution. Why would you do that? Why would you do... Why would you interrupt this thing? How stupid can she be? And another belch. What did he eat? We don't know. Look at you! What have you done to yourself? Why do you think you can pull off the loincloth? No! I'll see. 
How exactly do you die from being hurled over, hurled across the room? If you could die that easily from that. Once again, he's just gonna belch, isn't he? Okay, so... Oh yeah, this is not the actual final boss fight. Well, uh, let's get the horrible... Oh, no, don't... Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, and all of his hunting gear is like super uh, enlarged for some reason. It's like the super deluxe industrial strength hunting gear. Apparently Dasha Day is just really, really short for a predator. And he does take a lot of damage. Hey, you know what? Screw you. Eat a disc. This does... This appears to be doing no damage. No damage at all. Okay, fine. I'll fuck you up. Gratuitous swearing. Okay, so yeah, th this guy's kind of tough. Especially since this is a multi-stage boss fight. Basically, just avoid the disc. And he's, he's really not that tough in theory. But before we actually defeat him, he's not going to actually come up here if I'm not mistaken. He very well may, and I just don't remember. There it is. Got to destroy this computer, and I think you get an alternate costume from this, too. Uh, this is doing nothing. It does nothing. I'm not mistaken, this does that. And he does come up here. Actually, gonna smash it up. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Hey, I'm trying to smash up your computer. No! Down to five health. Thankfully, you can't hurt me. But this is actually a pretty climactic boss fight. I mean, how he even knows. How he really even knows to hunt this guy down, I couldn't say. Unless he actually did, like, hack into something. But we never get to see that. The Predator just sort of does whatever he wants to do and has, like, this omnipotent knowledge, you know? It's actually kind of silly when you think about it. Yes! That was a weird way of winning this boss fight. I forgot you had to destroy the computer. And, of course, I'm still really beat up. Because that's that always seems to be the case. How does he know that? I mentioned that in the review. How do you know that, Scarface? How do you know? How do he know? You weren't anywhere near her when she said that. You know what, Hunter? I've got diplomatic immunity. I can just take all your hits when I'm healing. Smackety smack. Come on, ninjas. See if it wants ninja-related crime is working for me. Okay, so maybe the actual uh, combi stick is not a good idea. Maybe if once the mall will actually work. Wow, they did a great job killing him. I don't remember him being that easy. See, that's why you do not mess with ninjas. He'll, of course, escape, but... Hey, how's it going today, dude? Yeah, I know. That commute was suck. It was a wreck on the I-95. But anyway, so that was a boss fight. I don't remember the boss fight being quite that lame. Not at all. Let's actually see what new costume we got, because I think that might have been the Dark Blade Clan costume. I honestly don't remember that, that boss fight being that easy. Oh, it was the Bad Blood costume. I remember somebody actually requested me wear that costume. You know what? No, I, I don't like it. That's not the that's not what I was thinking of when it came to Bad Blood. Because there's a comic that does follow an actual Bad Blood Predator, and he looks a lot better than that. I mean, come on. And of course, this is the costume of the weakest guy, or oh, the weakest boss you actually fight. We killed him in like a couple of hits. So instead, we're still going to be hip. Going to be totally hip. Going to listen to all the music the young people listen to. So anyway, we're going to call it an episode here, and then we're going to come back with the finale.